Hello and welcome to another Zach Carnage video and this time we're taking a look at the ultimate missile destruction unit. So yeah, this, this is my XV-80A broadside battle suit for Tau Empire Army with the high yield missile pod systems on, he's got the uh, smart missile system, he's got the seeker missile, he's got everything he needs to start blowing up some stuff and uh, yeah. So, what's, what's, what am I talking about this time? Well, I'm talking about uh, broadsides, obviously, and the real advantages of using this guy in conjunction with some other stuff. Basically, I would, nowadays I've been looking through the codex and thinking about tactics a little bit recently, and I was thinking, I'm gonna run two of these guys. I mean, I've got another one here which I haven't opened yet. I'm gonna build one, um, magnetize it, but with stronger magnets because this one is a bit bit weak, it needs the wall to hold it up. Um, then once they're both ready, I'll paint them up. And they're gonna be my star unit from this point on. I'm gonna be going all missiles um, and just destruction power with my broadsides. And I want them to do really well, so I, I can't leave them alone out there. I've gotta give them some stuff to go with. So I'm thinking either drones, uh, like the ones we got on the box here, or like going missile drone for just the extra shooty power and then chucking crews in. And the crew will essentially act to absorb all the shots that come in uh, because they're in the way. Uh, so that's providing a little bit of cover because um, they will actually, from the front view, they'll actually be covering up the body a bit. And um, you know, if I can get some terrain in there as well, I can cover up even more, provided his head is still um, at the right level. And I'm also thinking maybe, you know, maybe it's actually reached the point at which I'm going to start taking advantage of the um, the ability to buy terrain using the rulebook. I might actually just spend the points on an Aegis defense line, Aegis defense line, for, uh, for Tau, and I'll use that all the time and just keep whatever I need behind it. Everything's falling over here, as you can see. Um, so yeah, the majority of the time that's going to be my double broadside unit, uh, which will by that point be ready. And um, yeah, most of the time I'm gonna go with the missile pods and I'm gonna, I've got my other two broadsides, which are the old kits, uh, which I just put on in large bases. And I think if I'm gonna do it properly, I'm gonna have these guys with missile pods, I'm gonna have XV-8 crisis suits with um, double missile pod systems, probably with flamers for the extra defense. Um, get my commander with his drones so that we get all the extra shots and I can fire these seeker missiles which will be awesome you know just just the idea of the fact that you can get this missile chuck it on the back of one of these guys and you know in the game just go I'm gonna launch my missile at you now <sighs> yeah that that is just awesome the fact that you can do that so we've got to take advantage of that haven't we I mean if you're playing Tau You've got to take advantage of all the awesome stuff we have. That's why everybody buys battle suits because they look amazing, and that's why we play them. So yeah, basically, two of these guys with all the missiles, everything explosive. Um, put some stuff in there so that they can. Oh, goodness sake! This is why I'm getting stronger magnets for the Um Put some extra stuff in there so that they're more combat capable, and uh, potentially crews or Aegis defense line. I think I'll probably play test between the two. Crew with sniping rounds are just amazing. So maybe, even, potentially, you know, if we don't get any iron bark forests, I can, I can set out with the idea of I'm always gonna buy an Aegis defense line. And then maybe go Aegis defense line at the front along here, then crew line behind that, broad size behind that and just have the ultimate hail of fire coming at the opponent. Because I think that would be awesome. So um, let me go, uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget you can always like this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.